Three congregations that used a Pittsburgh synagogue where a gunman opened fire last week will hold a joint service at another temple today. Meantime, there is hope at a Philadelphia synagogue that four words will inspire solidarity and peace. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff went to congregation Rodef Shalom in Spring Garden, where many answered the hashtag show up to Shabbat. Handshakes led to hugs and hugs led to dancing. There was a joy inside of Rodef Shalom Synagogue on Broad Street as Shabbat was observed and embraced by hundreds in attendance. It was a necessary joy amid potentially paralyzing pain. I grew up in Pittsburgh and I was raised in Tree of Life Synagogue. It's where I was bat mitzvahed and went to Hebrew school and Sunday school three times a week. Carol Rosenthal's idyllic memories were nearly shattered last Sunday when the synagogue she was raised in became the site of terror. Authorities say Pittsburgh resident Robert Bowers opened fire inside the place of worship during last Saturday's prayer service. 11 were killed, six injured. Authorities have called the massacre the worst violent incident of anti-Semitism in U.S. history. I'm saddened, I'm sickened, I'm angered. Um, I wish I could say I was in disbelief, but I'm unfortunately not. Um, but I'm not, I'm not scared. In this first Shabbat since the shooting, the community locally and nationwide has embraced solidarity. We find strength in one another and in our prayer and our singing together and our knowing one another. Adorn on the Rodef Shalom building a message of pursuing love and peace, key principles in the Jewish faith, held as sacred as Shabbat, Hebrew for Sabbath, a time once a week to ease the heart and mind. How can you not need that, especially after a week like this? Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.